Next, boys and girls, we're going to look at the lowercase r, small r. Notice it starts at the base, comes up slightly past the midline. You're going to do a little retrace, sloping down to the right, and then slanting down to the baseline and finishing with an undercurve. So that's how you make it if the word begins with an R. For instance, I'm writing the word read. I'll start here at the baseline, slightly past the midline, retrace, slope to the right, slant to the base. I'm going to go on to the letter E, loop back, slant, under, over, down curve, under curve, slant, under, over, down, and under, retrace, touch the baseline, finish with an undercurve. So if you're starting with the letter R, that's how you make it. Oftentimes, R is in the middle of a word. So in that case, you're not going to go all the way back down to the baseline. So let's go back to what we did earlier, where we had to combine O with the letter A. So now I'm going to write the word um, or, and you'll see that it does do this. So O to the midline, down and under, slant, you're going to continue right on to the letter R, slightly past the midline, sloping to the right, slant to the base, finish with an undercurve. Now, if it's in the middle of a word, such as in the word, the word for, so this will go back to the letter F that we did earlier. We're going to do this tall undercurve to the headline, loop back, slant to the descender, loop forward, touch, on to the letter O down and under. Now the next letter is R. I am not going to go back down to the baseline. I'm going to continue slightly past the midline, sloping to the right, slant to the base, finish with an undercurve stroke. So there you have your two letter R's.